welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming one of my favorite videos to film. It's the Will I Buy It series. This one was started by Samantha March. I always have her channel linked in my description box just to make everyone's lives a little bit easier. If you're catching this on the community playlist, hi, it's so nice to meet you guys. Definitely feel free to catch some of my other videos as well. We have a lot of fun here on my channel. So anyway, without further blabbering, there's so many new things launching. Oh my goodness. I almost want to do like a holiday and a will I buy it, but I feel like that's just going to take even more work. So I'm just going to do it all in one long ass video so you guys can sit down with some popcorn, get that blanket, or if you're getting ready to go to work, that's always my favorite time to watch YouTube is when I'm getting ready to go to work. So. I've already made my little space where I'm going to insert stuff. I'm very excited. And the first thing I see on Tread Mood is the Sephora VIB, VIB Rouge Holiday Preview Event. I actually looked at some of this stuff on the Sephora website and I was honestly like very unimpressed. Like there's not that many things and it's a lot of stuff that we always see during the holidays like the Tatcha set and the Drunk Elephant set, the Beauty Blender set. There's so many of the same, same, same and it's kind of like eh. I don't really want any of it. There's literally nothing catching my eye in this preview event, so I am not interested. But if you pick something up, let me know down in the comments because, you know, I've been buying makeup for a long, long time and, you know, the things that I am not attracted to, sometimes you guys might be and it might be new and cool and exciting for you. So definitely let me know if you pick something up from the preview event. So the next new launch on here is Viseart's new Grand Pro Volume Three palette. This includes 30 shades, ultra saturated, primary, secondary, and tertiary tones, individually magnetized pans, blah, 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 for $175. Oh my gosh, so I actually bought the first Pro Palette when it came out and I ended up returning it because I just, I couldn't do it. Like that price tag was so high and I just didn't see myself using the palette enough to justify the price tag and having something that expensive. So I did end up returning it. This one looks really like a combination of a lot of their smaller palettes and I personally just don't need this. I can't imagine anyone other than a makeup artist needing something like this. It is like palettes that already exist in their current line. Like I have their 12 pan colorful palette. I have their 12 pan, both their neutral palettes. I don't have the newest one that they came out with, but I have their original neutral palette and then the warm neutral palette. So I have a lot of Viseart products. I love their matte formula. The shimmer formula is not for me, but this palette I would strongly recommend if you are new to makeup, do not buy this palette because you're going to end up with a lot of eyeshadow and a lot of money put towards it, but I don't see it as something somebody will use every day or pick up constantly in their makeup collection. I think this is definitely geared towards makeup artists. So that is my words of wisdom for you. Uh, the next palette, so Trend Mood is doing this thing called Trend Mood Spotlight. Um, I don't know, whatever. I the, It's so hard because I love finding new brands, but I'm also so cautious these days because I feel like everyone has a makeup brand. It's like everyone has a YouTube channel, everyone has a makeup brand. So I don't know this brand. This is a cool palette, but it, again, it has pressed glitters in it, which I don't really enjoy putting on my eyes. Although this past weekend when we went to Nashville, I bought one of the ColourPop um, pot glitters with me. It's the only shade I have in a pot and I, um, didn't really know like what we do with it but I bought it with me and we like bedazzled ourselves with that glitter. Everyone wanted to play with it. Everyone had it like smeared all over their bodies and I took it with me to the pool and it looked so beautiful. I like put it in the bride's hair. She had it like all over her chest when we were at the pool. I literally had some girl that was at the pool that came up to me that wasn't part of our group that asked if she could put some on herself because she thought it was so pretty. So I thought that was pretty jazzy. Like if you guys need like what to pack for a bachelorette weekend, consider packing some glitter because apparently everyone's nuts for shiny things. Like people that wouldn't even wear makeup was like, can I play with the glitter? Like it was so cute. Um, glitter brings people together. That's what I've, I've learned from my weekend away. 
So this is a cute palette. It's Ruby May Cosmetics Pop Zombie 9 color. Oh, so they have a, a bunch of different color palettes. So there's a zombie palette, a neon lights, 24 color glitter and eyeshadow palette, um, street art palette. So it looks like she's trying to like raise awareness for this brand. Um, the neon palette looks really cool. All the palettes look really cool. It's just not something I'm really looking to do right now is try more new brands. I have so much stuff from the brands I love that I still need to make videos and post about. So I will be skipping on that. And then last night, Alta uploaded a bunch of new products, like more holiday stuff onto their website. So there's some fun like it cosmetics brushes, the new Tarte blush set that they always do every holiday, some sets from Smashbox, like a bunch of honestly like crap that I don't personally need but if you guys have been eyeing some of that stuff you should definitely check it out. This is kind of exciting. This is the new Hourglass palette so they always launch a limited edition face palette in holiday and this one is called the Ambient Light Edit Ghost palette. It's gonna launch on September 17th and I think this is a cool palette. If you wanted to try Hourglass this is a great way to do it. I have two um, of their previous palettes that they've launched. I just decided to declutter one of them because it was so old and I still have one other palette. Typically I'm always nervous because I don't know if the formula is going to show up or I don't know if the shades are going to show up on my skin tone, but the two I've purchased in the past I haven't had a problem with. If you're much darker than me though, I don't know that this would necessarily work for you. I did hear somebody say that these shades are possibly like repeat shades from last year. I'm not sure about that, but I swear I heard somebody say it. I don't know if Angie said it in her video or if somebody else said it in a video. Not quite sure where I got that snippet of information from, but definitely do double check that if that is the case. I don't even know what to say because I know people want stuff like this, so that's probably why brands are coming out with stuff like this, but I'm also like a little bit like, ugh. So I was like totally on the Morphe 35O hype train when it happened. What? How long ago was that palette a thing? Like 2015, I think. And I loved my 35O palette, you guys. I was obsessed with it. I You couldn't get it for the longest time. Like they could not keep that palette in stock to save their lives. So everyone was going nuts for it. Then they did the all matte. They did the all shimmer. Oh my god. I bought both of them and I filmed a swatch party video and it was just like the coolest thing I'd ever done. Then they did the 3502 I think with the pop of reds and I think people went nuts for that and now they're doing the 3503 which is basically every other 35O palette with two green shades. Now, do I feel like this is gonna sell? Yes. So I, I don't even wanna like hate on it because I'm sure there's somebody out there that is like so excited for this palette. It's definitely not for me. So I'm like hard passing on this. Um, I just got the Morphe Jeffree Star palette and there's a green shade very close to this one in there. So maybe that's like a new thing, like, you know, people are getting into the green trend, they're dipping their toes, like, checking if it's warm enough, jumping back out, I don't know, Morphe's doing a lot, Morphe's doing the most, um, and, you know, if people want it, I don't see why they shouldn't get it, so, um, this is also gonna launch on September 17th, I just, I can't believe they did another 35O palette, so Victoria Beckham, is launching her own makeup line. It's a new beauty brand called VB Beauty, I guess. And this stuff is available now. She's got a really interesting like eyeshadow palette concept. It looks very much like mm, those eyeshadow palettes that Hourglass did, because, except Hourglass was an even bigger mess. Honestly, like these eyeshadow palettes look like cheek products like especially the neutral one I'm like oh my god I would like swirl that and wear that as a blush I don't know that I would use it as an eyeshadow palette uh, but she's got a bunch of stuff eyeliners eyeshadow palettes um, glitter shadows a bunch bunch a bunch of stuff I'm personally not interested in any of this I I don't know I love Victoria Beckham I think she's really really cool but I don't need the makeup. I think it kind of looks like old lady makeup. Like, don't get mad at me for saying that because I'm a fucking old lady too. So, whatever. But yeah, I just, I just thought it was kind of, 
I don't know. Okay, this I'm low-key excited about, but I won't get any of this. This is a new product from MAC Cosmetics. They're coming out with Glow Play, Glow Play Blush. And it's a cream formula, and it looks beautiful. It looks very... Um, juicy sort of like in its own way it just looks like you that orange shade <sighs> I might need that actually I lied when I said I wasn't interested I think that orange shade may have to be mine and that coral shade I can just see myself like dipping into this with like my finger or like a stippling brush and then just oh that does look delicious I love a good orange blush I'm here for orange blushes oh my god okay so makeup revolution is doing a collab with Alexis Stone. It looks like she's a British artist and drag queen. And this is interesting. So I don't want another rainbow palette. I am all rainbow paletted out. Uh, but I like that she's doing like this little skinny palette that's like transformer shades. So the first palette is called the Instinct Palette, which is $20 and it's all in one matte palette with 28 pressed pigments, so they are pigments, and then the number two palette is the Transformation palette, which is $10, and it's seven transitional shimmer shades. I think that's cool because if you already have the rainbow palette, you don't have to buy the $20 palette um, to get the, you know, the trans transformation shades. I think that's pretty smart. Um, do I think it's, I don't know, I think it's kind of clunky that you have to buy two palettes. But I think it's nice in a way that they separated them because you don't have to buy the giant palette if you don't want to. So you can still, you know, Alexis Stone if she's like your favorite, but you don't have to go like full on savage if you don't want to. So Kim Kardashian's collab with Winnie Harlow is now available. They did an eyeshadow palette, they did a highlighter duo, glasses, and the full collection is $112 if you wanted to buy it all online. I don't think this is horrible. Is it for me? No, I wouldn't buy this. I, I do buy some of Kim Kardashian's makeup, but I feel like she's come out with so much more recently that I'm not going to try and keep up with it. I'm not trying to collect it. I'm not... I'm not that hyped for it. The highlighter duo does kind of look beautiful, and I'm sure the glosses are really nice too. Everything is really nice, but I just don't want it. So this palette was announced when I was... I think I was at the airport when this was announced. This is the ColourPop collab with Kathleen Lights. It leaked a little before they actually announced it, and I saw it on somebody I follow's Instagram, and I was like, what the fuck is that? Because the way they po had word of the post, it was like... Uh, Colourpop is about to do their 1,000 1 millionth collection with Kathleen Lights and I was like okay maybe it is like a joke maybe it's not real oh but it was real and it is the So Jaded palette honestly I'm like low-key tempted to buy this mostly because of the packaging but I honestly just refuse to spend $39 on a Colourpop palette like I don't want another Colourpop palette I have too many Colourpop palettes they all tempt me like I want them all but it doesn't mean I should buy them. Like, I can want something and not buy it. Like, it's okay. And I'm so, so tempted because I could just do after pay and pay it off in four payments. It's not even a big deal. But I'm just like, Karen, like, no. Like, you don't have the time to play with this. It's just going to sit there. I still have the California Love palette. You guys have never seen it on my channel. There's so much ColourPop in my collection that I have not spent enough time getting to know and so I'm just like no absolutely not I won't buy it my friend Allie did get it and she posted it on her Instagram and I was like oh, it's pretty it's very beautiful the shades look beautiful I don't think it's bad at all but it's just like a lot of people have said it kind of looks like the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette I have that palette ask me how many times I use it zero I've used it zero times in the last probably year Definitely not in, I've no, I haven't used it in 2019, have I? I don't think I have. So it's like, it's just sitting there gathering dust. I won't declutter it because it's such an iconic palette, but I don't need to bring more shit into my collection until I like use up some of the stuff I have. So I'm just going to admire it from a distance. So Artist Couture is doing their first ever eyeshadow palette. It's called the Midnight Maven Palette. It's $29 and it is available now. This palette basically looks like the baby version of Celestial whatever, the Dominique Cosmetics palette. Now, I was happily able to pass on the Dominique Cosmetics palette because I had kind of drawn a connection to the Kaleidos Astro Pink palette, which is right there. And I 
look at this and I want this one even less so it doesn't even phase me um, but if you guys pick this up do you like it I mean the swatches look cool that bright pink shade looks beautiful but I don't need it I'm good okay here's something that I posted about on oh wow this is funny so um Jeffree Star actually commented on this post on Trent Mood's Instagram feed. It says the fact that Madonna reused old photos for the packaging speaks volumes. The product looks so boring. It's insulting to her legacy. And honestly, that's how I feel. I'm like, first of all, I don't understand why Madonna is collaborating with Too Faced. Like, that is so, so much of an odd collection to me or connection to me. Like, I understand, like, Urban Decay and Liz O. That makes sense. Urban Decay is always trying to be edgy. And Liz O is, like, so young and hip and iconic. Madonna is more, like, Tom Ford vibes, Lancome vibes, Estee Lauder vibes. Like, granted, like, Estee Lauder isn't the most poppin' fun brand. But, like, okay, Tom Ford. Like, that's where I can see, you know, Madonna going at, you know, where she's at. She's iconic. She's, like, timeless. And she's collaborating with Too Faced. Like, can you spell fucking money grab Can, do you guys think madonna is sitting there using like better than sex mascara because if you do you're nuts and if you think that she's sitting there using Too Faced liquid lipstick or Too Faced eyeshadow with that packaging you're on drugs like no she's not <laughs> she's not doing it so i just feel like this is one of those like perfect ex examples of when we talk about in the beauty community like brands that collab and the collaborator and they don't match up this is a prime example of that i think there's been so many of those throughout the years where you're like huh that makes no sense at all and this is definitely one of it it's like if somebody that really is into high-end makeup collabs with like like if i saw michelle wong collabing with maybelline like i'd be shocked because she her channel is all about high-end luxury makeup why would she you know what i mean or when i when like carrie washington collabed with neutrogena i'm like really like neutrogena has like five shades of foundation and none of them are for deep skin tone so like it's yeah anyway sorry i'm going on a tangent but that collab made like zero sense to me so i don't know anyway so my baby launch this guy oh my gosh i picked this up on the launch day and it's actually the palette i have on my eyes so you guys oh my earrings just like magnetized to the palette um so you guys will see this eyeshadow look next um after this will i buy it video goes up but i love the look so much the palette mm, i'll talk about it more in upcoming videos also urban decay honey is now available for purchase I, like I said, when this first got announced, this palette is not for me, but I can see so many people I know going for a palette like this because it's perfect. The other thing too, spending quality time with a bunch of girls, it was crazy. Like, people were going nuts. Like, one of these girls had a Morphe palette and everyone was going nuts for the Morphe palette and I'm like, this is why. Like, this is why Morphe does so well because they reach the regular consumers. Like somebody said this in a video too that i watched recently that the beauty community on youtube is a very small percentage of the consumers like the big beauty community at large and the brands that are doing well in on that bigger scale are the brands that are doing well because i can sit here and talk about give me glows vintage rose palette too all day long but i can tell you that you know xyz girl on the street doesn't know anything about gimme glow it's just like those die hard youtube watching crazy indie lovers like us that are all over that stuff i don't know i love watching youtube i'm surprised people aren't as into it as i am like i didn't notice anybody watching youtube on my trip so it was very interesting like a social experiment for me almost so the bomb is sneak peeking two new eyeshadow palettes they're cream eyeshadow palettes there's let's look under the hood and let's rev it up this is a great idea i don't really know what the market is like for cream eyeshadows i'm definitely like a powder shadow person i have a few like creamy shadows from sydney grace that i like and the ColourPop jelly mud shadows are really nice too but i couldn't see myself buying palettes of cream shadow uh yeah i don't know they're there 
Okay, so ColourPop came out with their first fall collection. I'm gonna say it's their first fall collection because I would assume that there's more coming. I mean, it is ColourPop and it's it's barely like September. So I'm sure they've got more fall stuff coming. And it's so funny because when I think of fall, you know, their fall palette last year was so iconic, like the Good Sport palette. It makes me wonder if they're gonna be able to top it. This one looked so beautiful, swatch on tan skin. I think Trend Mood was posting swatches on like a brown arm and I was just like, oh my god, like it's so gorgeous. This could be like everyone's palette that's like Indian, that um, do people that do like Indian bridal looks, oh my god, I could totally see somebody picking up this whole collection because that eyeliner, that mascara, it would pair so beautifully with like the bright reds that Indian, um, I, th I think mostly traditional Indian weddings. I've seen a lot of red and they embellish with a lot of gold and so I think this palette would look so gorgeous on that type of skin tone. It's gorgeous. I, I want it. I'm just not going to buy it because like I said, I have so many ColourPop palettes that I don't even like really use at all. So I'm just going to admire this from afar. I'm also a little bit obsessed with the shade Lesson, Learn, and Me Be, Me Be The World. Ugh, those two glosses look gorgeous. These blushes look gorgeous. Like I, you guys know I love the Super Shock blush. And I I want to buy these. I literally had my cart pulled up and I was like adding things in my cart. And I'm like, I'm not about to spend like 50 bucks on the ColourPop website. Like it's not happening. But I really like that collection. I really do. I know it's like basic AF, but I think it's beautiful. Okay, so another new makeup launch. This is another killer eyeshadow palette. $75 from Charlotte Tilbury. It's her, it's her holiday launch. This is the new Starry Eyes to Hypnotize Instant Eye Palette. And I think this is gorgeous. I personally love the quad or the the trio that has the green. I think that's beautiful. I have two palettes from Charlotte Tilbury. I have the Pillow Talk quad and then I have this beautiful palette. It's right here. I picked this up during sometime this year and this is her the Icon palette and this is honestly stunning. The thing I tell people about Charlotte Tilbury because I had posted this palette and there were a lot of people that were interested in it is her palettes are not like overly glittery like they're not like glam light palettes where there's like a ton of shimmer in the shimmer shades but these are like what I would call like the grown and sexy eyeshadows so if you're like in your 30s and 40s and you have a serious job or you like to wear a makeup and you like a little bit of shimmer but you don't want to look like a clown which sometimes I like to look like a clown uh, you would love the Charlotte Tilbury formula. It's very creamy. It has a beautiful shimmer and the mattes are so buttery smooth like it's a good formula. I would recommend it. You do have to be a little careful because a lot of her shadows I feel like are more light skin friendly but this palette I really enjoy. I think this one was limited edition so you can't buy it anymore. Oh my god like I think I have a video where I swatch this. I don't think I ever did an eye look with this but I might still do one because I just like her shadows so much and I think they're beautiful. So I'm going to stop bird vomiting about, about Charlotte Tilbury, but I do think her palettes are really, really good. Okay, here's something I want, but I, I can't. I don't have the money for this. This is the new Sonia G brush set. This is her face brush set. I have her eyeshadow brush set and it is so, so, so good. And I love the Sonia G brushes and the Wayne Goss brushes. Those are like my favorite eyeshadow brushes. I just, I have one set from each of them. But this face brush set is five brushes and it's $270. Did that sink in yet? I bought a ticket to Nashville for $300. Um, I can't afford to buy face brushes for $270, but they look beautiful. I'm sure they're fabulous. The eyeshadow brushes are so good. I feel like if I had these, I could do... I don't know why I turned orange all of a sudden, but... 
I'm just gonna go with it. So yeah, I'm obsessed with those Sonia G brushes and I wish I could afford them, but I can't, so not gonna get those. Okay, so Fenty Beauty is coming out with a little mini holiday set of her gloss bombs. It looks like these are all new shades, I believe is what I read. I'm actually one of the very few people that don't really love the gloss bomb formula. I bought it when it first launched because I liked the price point and I really wanted to pick up a bunch of stuff from Fenty Beauty, but I honestly didn't really like it. I actually prefer the ColourPop um, So Juicy lip glosses so much better, but I think this is cool because it'll give people the chance to try the formula and see what they think. Okay, Morphe came out with two little palettes. I think this is kind of smart for Morphe, honestly. I don't understand... What? These are 20 bucks? Are they both? Okay, they're 20 Okay, that makes more sense. They're $12 each. I think they're nice. I mean, for people that like Morphe products... Yeah, I don't know why I'm orange. That's so weird. I'm sorry. Okay, so for people that like Morphe products, I think this is a nice option to try out something smaller, but it's not for me, so I'm going to be passing on that. Okay, so MAC Cosmetics is sneak peeking some of their holiday products. Uh, these lipsticks look gorgeous, and it looks like there's something in a pot with like a glitter lid, which kind of looks like the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter packaging. I don't really buy anything from MAC these days, but I did think that imprint on the lipstick is beautiful. I think it's been done before though, so it's not really anything special. Okay, here's something that got announced when I was again in... I think I was in Nashville when this happened too, and also my friend Annette's Makeup Corner had gone to Sephora, which now I really want to go to Sephora next year because that seems legit where you can like pick things up that haven't launched yet. Um, and she had gotten this palette and I was like, ooh, that looks pretty. Ever since I saw her video on the palette, I've been obsessed with it. And then everyone else posted videos about it and I was like, I want it so badly. But I didn't have the budget for it, didn't have the budget for it. But my awesome husband bought it for me as a gift. I don't know what like made him do it, but it was the perfect time. I was just like, he said something and I was like, will you buy me this eyeshadow palette? And he's like, yeah, okay. And I'm like, <laughs> So that was really sweet and I'm so excited. It should be here on Monday, so I will get to play with it. I'm so excited for the green shades. Okay, so the Radioactive Collection is now available on Melt's website. The palette is available on Sephora's website. The only thing I really wanted was that blush, but the Gamma Ray blush, but I don't know if it's gonna come to Sephora and Melt wouldn't tell me. They just said, at this time it's only available on Melt and I'm like, well, that's not helpful. I'm asking you if it's coming to Sephora. That's a yes or no question. So since they didn't say no, it makes me think it is gonna come to Sephora, but they're probably gonna give it some time because they probably wanna have it as an exclusive on their site, which is understandable, but also kind of irritating. Like. You do understand that I don't like your return policy, so why can't I have it through Sephora and why can't you be honest, but I get the strategy there. Um, so yeah, I was tempted by the palette because I thought, oh, color, but realistically I have, I have all those colors, so I'm going to pass on that, but I still have my eye on the blush. Laura Mercier came out with a bunch of stuff with Macy's. Um, they've got an eyeshadow palette for $42, translucent setting powder glow set for $45, a bunch of stuff. I don't know. This all looks hella boring. I'm not gonna lie. Even the highlighter palette looks boring AF, so I'm gonna skip on all of that. Okay, so here is another look at more things that Hourglass is coming out with. I'm kind of like low-key eyeing that blush palette because I feel like that will be fun. The blush quad that they're coming out with. But I don't know when all of that's going to be available and stuff, so I'm just going to wait on all of that. Uh, Sigma came out with six hydrating shades of their liquid lipstick, like pinks to reds. I don't really like or like really know much about Sigma's makeup. I bought an eyeshadow palette from them a long, long time ago, probably when they first came out with makeup and I was not impressed. It would have to be something really special to get me to purchase from Sigma's makeup. I do like the eyeshadow brushes. Those are great. That's what they're known for, but the... Nothing has really intrigued me about their makeup. Okay, so Miss Fame, who is a drag queen and like model, she's beautiful. She's a beautiful man and a beautiful woman. Like, I'm mm, gorgeous. So, 
she did launch her makeup line I think this year maybe last year I don't know but she just came out with a all shimmer palette it's beautiful it's $50 these shades don't really call to me I have such a hard time even remembering to use my palettes that are all shimmers because you know, most of my palettes do have mattes and shimmers, so I don't need to really go looking for a shimmer palette. This is gorgeous, but not for me, and that's okay. Okay, so what the heck happened? Again, I left town, and this got announced. It's the new Wet n' Wild palette, and there's this, like, whole drama with James Charles and Wet n' Wild, and how Wet n' Wild was copying his ideas and... James Charles' stands were like going nuts and they were getting mad at Wet n Wild and how could Wet n Wild do this and I'm just like sitting here going like uh there's like a million dupes for like a million palettes out there if everyone got as mad as James Charles did like we would be I mean like did did anybody look up if James ever endorsed like Shop Hush because even if he didn't, I'm sure a thousand of his little minions did. And it's like, if you didn't have a problem with Shop Hush, why do you now have a problem with Wet n Wild? And yeah, like, the layout was the same, but, like, so? You made a rainbow? Like, I mean, okay, so here's the thing, right? Like, if somebody asked me to make a palette, I... It wouldn't be that hard to make a rainbow palette because that way, you know, there's something for everyone. I feel like rainbow palettes are like the biggest cop out because there's something for everyone. How can you get mad at a rainbow palette? Because even if you only like pink shadows, but you support James Charles, you're like, hey, there's some pink shadows in there. So at least I can get some. So it's like, come on, dude. Like, really? Like, ugh. anyway, I just... I, uh, I uh, anyway, but Tina, the fancy face, of course, did a car chat on it, and I, I agree with most of everything of what she said, so if you want to hear somebody rant about it, go watch Tina's video. So, I don't know how L'Oreal is collabing with Karl Lagerfeld since Karl Lagerfeld, like, died this year, but, you know, I guess you can have collaborations even once you die, like, also, why is... <laughs> What does Karl Lagerfeld know about makeup? He was, like, almost 90 years old when he died. Like, anyway. I'm just saying. It's an old white French dude. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, I don't know. The palette looks really lame. It looks dusty. I'm going to move on with my life. I think this is only going to... Oh, it's going to be available worldwide September 20th on ASOS, so... There's that. Okay, so Hilary Duff is collaborating with Nude Sticks, and I heard like mixed reviews on this. People were just like, I don't get it. Why would Hilary Duff be collabing with Nude Sticks? La di da di da. But then we found out that she actually invested in the brand, so that's cool. I again, I don't. I I think this makes a little bit more sense because like Nude Sticks is more like no makeup makeup type look so at least it kind of makes sense but I don't know is Hilary Duff still cool even question mark okay so NARS collaborated with Barch Susan Barch um on top now available on Netflix okay so does she have a TV show not quite not quite sure who this is very um different instagram nothing wrong with that 59 dollars eyeshadow palette i when i saw this palette it's beautiful it makes me happy to look at but i think of like my moon dust palette that i never use and i'm like what the fuck would i do with another glitter palette so no 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 oh. the nomad palette was launched when I was packing to go on my trip and I was like so sad because I really think it's so pretty I love like the mustard I love the vibe I really really do is it unique to me no because I'm sure I have a combination of those shades in my collection uh, but I think it's such a cool palette like this to me is what Juvia's Place is good at is doing a very curated color story the packaging is so gorgeous i totally want to buy this but i'm gonna wait because i don't need it um but yeah i thought it was really 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 beautiful i know there's mixed reviews on it 
but I think it's gorgeous. I also think this is kind of cute. I saw this palette on the BH Cosmetics website. I'm like, oh, that's a cute palette. This is the Golden Twilight 16 Shade Eyeshadow Palette from BH Cosmetics. It's $12, which I think is a great price point. So these all got announced on Treadmood like back to back on September 3rd. And I definitely feel like they were all similar. And then the next one that was announced was the Natasha Denona Mini Gold Palette, which... I don't really see the connection to the gold palette, except for the fact that there are some golds in it and then this olive green shade. What I do like is I feel like you could buy the mini gold and still pair it with the gold palette because there's no repeating shades in it. But I also understand the people that are like, what the fuck? Like, you did a mini gold palette and you didn't include the shade Lime Chrome, which is probably one of the coolest shadows in the mini gold. So. There's a lot of conflict there. Um, I think it's a beautiful palette. I don't see myself buying it, honestly. Maybe I will um, because it went on sale or something, but I don't see myself like buying this when it launches. There is also like a beautiful highlighter um, duo that's coming out with that collection, and it looks gorgeous, um, but I think the highlighter is like 42 bucks, and I'm like, mm, I don't really need that. So for now, I'm just going to admire it from a distance. Okay, so there's a new collaboration. This is kind of like one of those gamer collabs. This is Pokemon with Shimara. I believe they're a very high-end brand. I don't really know too much about them, so I won't be getting this, but I can see somebody that's a huge Pokemon, Poke, Pokemon, Pokemon fan being interested in that, and that launches October 25th. This actually looks really cool. This is a new product to the Dior uh, Backstage family. It's the Universal Multi-Use Highlight Natural Glow Waterproof and Sweat Resistant. It looks like a basically a body highlighter. It's kind of gorgeous. Like I feel like that would be so beautiful mixed into foundation. I'm not going to buy it, but I think that's really cool. Okay, so ColourPop is coming out with the Pop Goes the Glow Champagne Pop Face and Eyeshadow Palette. This thing looks like a fucking snooze fest. I'm sorry. I love Becca's highlighter, but they really need to expand and find newer horizons to, um, you know, reach. New, new, new heights. They need to find new places to go to. <laughs> oh my god, I'm terrible. I literally don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Okay, so on the indie front, there's some new single shadows from Amy Hearts Beauty. I'm not really sure what's going on with her brand because she's been coming out with a lot of stuff, but she also posted on Instagram that she was maybe having some personal stuff going on, so I don't know, like, and then she said she didn't really have um, money to keep her Shopify open, but then somebody donated the money, so she was fine, um, and now she's been coming out with, like, cool products and collections and, like, this new single collection is gorgeous. It's very like iridescent like inner corner highlight shades um, but I'm not quite sure what's going on with her. Like I don't know if the brand is going to continue to exist or what's going to happen. I wish her nothing but good things. Um, I haven't purchased anything from her in a while so I'm just going to see how things go with the brand. Davina is restocking their collab with Angelica so that will be available. What? Oh, oh, okay. So that'll be available on um, September 22nd at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time if you missed that on the first launch. Okay, I can't remember if I talked about this in my last Will I Buy, but I'm going to mention this really quick. It's a new palette that Menagerie is teasing. It's called the Killer Per Palette with Fall Colors, I think is what it's going to be. And it's going to be coming this fall. So cute. It definitely gives me like Africa vibes, which makes me think of my husband. So I definitely am going to have my eye on this palette to see what the inside is going to be like. And there's a bunch of other great indie products that launch, but nothing really calling to me. So I'm going to keep it to the point and end this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video soon. Let me know a makeup item that you are excited for in this upcoming week. I would love to hear your thoughts and see you later. Bye guys.